Hey everybody, it's Melissa, and today I was gonna do an unboxing of Givenchy Gentleman Privé Reserve, but I realized that as I was recording, my thing wasn't actually recording. So I already unboxed it, but this video is more of like a first impression. I already sprayed like a small spray on my arm, but I'm gonna do it again. And then I'll tell you my very honest opinion about the fragrance. That's a pretty nice sprayer, by the way. So in the air, this is just kind of like your typical, not typical, it's a sexy, sensual, sophisticated, almost classy date night fragrance. It goes more on the masculine side and just, I honestly prefer it in the air than I do up close. Before I even put it to my nose, I was like, okay, this is, this is the type of scent profile that isn't going to be super polarizing. You know, you know exactly what it's supposed to do. In fact, when I first saw the bottle, I was like, this kind of looks a little bit like it would smell similar to Dior Homme 2020. I think that the scent profiles are going to be fairly similar. And in my opinion, they, they are, like they can be used for date nights. And if you are gonna be getting dressed, it's night, whatever nighttime sort of event you're going to, I think this will smell really good. Now, the more that it kind of sits on my skin and especially when I smell it up close, it reminds me a lot more of Dior Homme Intense. So for me, Dior Homme Intense isn't my favorite fragrance. I just find it to be, I don't really like the lipsticky vibe to it. It kind of smells makeup-y to me. In fact, that's kind of what this fragrance smells like up close. Um, this is the memory it takes me back to. It was when I was a kid and when my mom would be getting dressed up to go to like uh, a wedding or a black tie event, anything where she has to just dress really nice, right? And I'd just be watching her and she's like, hey, can you hand me my makeup bag? And then in this bag, in this pouch, it has like all the makeup brushes. It has like the eyeliner, the mascara, the lipstick, everything in that. And when I would unzip it for her, that smell, like, like the aroma that comes out of that bag was very similar to Givenchy Gentleman, the, the Reserve, Reserve Privé, if I did not mention that earlier. That is what it smells like to me up close. And again, to me, okay? I know that everyone has their own opinions about it, but I think with a lot of women in particular, this smell is not uncommon. And that's kind of what I, I kind of like that this fragrance took it there because with a name like Givenchy Gentleman, you're assuming that, oh, it's gonna be like a very masculine sort of scent. And yes, it is a masculine fragrance, but I also like that it kind of touches on a little bit of this femininity that brings about a certain uniqueness that isn't really present in modern blue fragrances that you see a lot of guys wearing like Dior Sauvage and Blue de Chanel. So to me, this is the type of fragrance that if a guy were to smell it, they'd be like, oh wow, this is really good. This is something that's different. And that little different thing is again, that touch of almost like that, I don't, floral isn't the right word, but like that makeup lipsticky vibe. And again, I don't want I don't want this to be deja vu on my last video where I said feminine about what was supposed to be masculine fragrance and people getting triggered by that. But what I'm saying is I think that it's a nice balance, especially for y'all that love Dior Homme Intense. And I believe, you know what? I heard that fragrance was discontinued, but I've seen it in Ulta's and Sephora's. So is it really? I'm not too sure. But if you like that fragrance, I think this is like a shoe in as well. If you can't find that wherever you live and that's your favorite scent, I think Givenchy Gentleman a Reserve Privé is gonna be a good option to grab if you can't find that one, all right? So again, I've only tried this, I believe on a test strip, but you know what, now that I think about it, I think the one that I tried on a test strip was just the regular Givenchy Gentleman and it was good, but I didn't really care for it as much. This one, it's it's good, it's good. And this is still something that I would recommend to, to your average person. But I think Dior Homme 2020 is way sexier. There's something about that fragrance. I kind of wish that Dior Homme 2020 didn't have, I wish the patchouli was pulled back a little bit just cause I don't like that part about it as much. But to me like that scent is so good. But for all the Dior Homme Intense lovers, yeah, this is this is the one right here. I don't know the notes of this fragrance off the top of my head. Um, 
I just, and, and when I do unboxing videos and first impressions, I don't want to look at those things ahead of time because I feel like that can kind of skew and kind of make me bias in what I think the fragrance is supposed to smell like. But for me, just straight up, y'all, this is a more masculine fragrance that just has a little bit of that touch of femininity. And when I say femininity, I'm specifically kind of talking about that makeup lipstick sort of smell. Like it, it's definitely a bit present there. I think if you're a guy that um, maybe isn't around women and hasn't really smelled that, you're not gonna understand that association. But for the ladies that will smell this, and just like, you know, if, if there's any women watching here and you spray it on your skin, I think you're gonna know more of what I'm talking about. And I still think this is a very attractive scent. I think that this is, like I said, it's a fragrance that I would still recommend. And it's also like, it's, it is a designer fragrance, but I wanna be careful here because whenever people hear designer, they think basic, especially with Givenchy Gentlemen. And to me, I don't find fragrances like this to be basic or this fragrance to be basic just because I really don't smell it as often. And I think basic is really, it's a word that's thrown around so much when it comes to just your mainstream fragrances that are accessible to people. And it's kind of viewed in a negative way. It's like, oh man, that's so accessible. That's so basic. I could never wear that because everyone wears it. But in reality, who's really wearing this fragrance majority of the time who really has this as their signature scent in the groups that you surround yourself with probably not that many people majority of people just don't even wear fragrances you know so i think this is like it'd be a nice signature scent if you lived where it's a bit cooler like right now it's it's overcast where i'm at and i think that this fragrant this is the type of scent that would shine through in this type of environment you know what i mean i think if you live where it's predominantly warm it's gonna be hard to get usage out of this, but if you live where it's cooler, like we're talking some Seattle, you know, maybe even San Francisco, I think this is gonna be pretty good. I think I give this, I still give this fragrance a thumbs up. Um, it's, this is the type of scent that I personally probably wouldn't wear as often, but I would recommend, kind of like Side Effect by Inicio. You know, and people always get me confused with that. They're like, well, you said you love side effect and now like you're saying that you don't wear it and stuff. I, side effect is one of those fragrances that I know when I wear it, I will get a ton of compliments. But is it something I really enjoy wearing? Not really. So that's how I feel about uh, Gentleman by Givenchy, the Reserve Privé, is that this will be a compliment getter sort of fragrance, but it's just not something that I myself, I see myself wearing as much. Now, again, it's my first time wearing this on skin, so I can't really say anything about compliment factor right now, but just based on my experience with other fragrances that are similar to this scent, I think it has that ability. Um, in fact, I kind of like it right now, just right now, a little bit better than Dior Homme Intense. I know that's a wild statement to make because Dior Homme Intense is so loved in this community, but just off my skin right now, I think this one goes a bit more masculine than Dior Homme Intense. I find Dior Homme Intense to uh, be more of like a unisex fragrance, still a little more masculine, but this one is more masculine than that one. Yeah, you know, I, I hope I hope that makes sense. All right, so I will be doing a full review of this fragrance and I'll let y'all know the longevity, how it wears on my skin, um, if anybody had anything to say about this scent. And let me know in the comment section what you feel about this fragrance. I think... My prediction is a majority of you are going to like this or you'll say something like, oh, it's a hidden gem or it's slept on. I think that that's the type of reaction that this fragrance would get in the comment section, but who knows? We'll see. That's just my prediction, all right? I hope y'all have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. I think the next video, I want to unbox either that Lancome fragrance or Grey Vetiver by Tom Ford. All right, so take care. Bye.